Welcome. In front of me is an Infinix Note 40. And today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, before I get started, we will need to have one thing prepared, which is a SIM card. We do need one um, for this process. Now, let me quickly check if I do need to connect to Wi-Fi or not. Uh, we can already see that the device is locked right here with this tiny little icon. Um, hmm. Okay, so it does say that I do have to connect, so... There we go. Now, as an offense, considering we do need an active SIM card for this, so that's why I was checking it a little bit more thoroughly. Anyway, so uh, in a second, I will be showing you that the device is locked with the pattern and the Google account, just so we can all see that. Okay, so you can see it's allowing me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it, or I could use the Google account. Now, with that being said, we're gonna pop in our SIM card. If you have some kind of pin on it, just confirm it. I do, as you can see. Anyway, next we want to back out. Assuming we can. Oh, it looks like I can't. So, I don't know why there it is. There we go. Barely visible back button. Okay, so we want to back out to the Wi-Fi connection page. And here we're going to click on the QR code on this little square right here. I am going to hover my hand just because sometimes the QR code actually presents the password, which I don't want to do. So you can see there's the QR code. Next, I'm going to select nearby. Again, I'm going to hover my hand just in case. Okay, it looks like it's fine. Uh, next, we're going to select continue. And let's see. Nearby. Allow, there we go. And we have the button need help sharing. You want to click on this. This opens up an article and here you want to select share article. Select messages. New message. In the to field, you can just slap any kind of numbers. Voila, good enough. And you want to get rid of the article. So just remove it and then type in Oh, like that. www.youtube.com Now, uh, key thing to keep in mind, you do need to add the extension, like I did. Uh, and additionally, make sure you remove the, uh, the, the capital W. Because as you've seen the first time I typed it in, it was big. You cannot have that. So the reason you also want to use the extension www is because without it, for some reason, the phone might open up uh, YouTube in a pop-up window, almost like, which doesn't have the options that we need. So make sure you add the extension and make sure that all the Ws are small. Next, you want to just simply send it. Click on the link. Open URL. Disregard whatever uh, pops up with. Next, we want to navigate on the to the account settings uh, from here we're gonna select we're looking for google Pri privacy policy which i assume will be yep an about section uh, google privacy policy uh, it's missing from the guide that's why i'm kind of uh, pausing for a moment because the guide is incomplete apparently uh, but anyway, and here we're going to select continue without an account. And then, no thanks. In the search bar, you want to navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. Like so. For some reason, it's in a wonky language, whatever. Uh, we're going to disregard that. Press on the green button. If for you, it also displays a wrong language. And from here, you want to scroll down to the settings app. Open it up. Next, navigate to apps. Uh, 
oh, there we go, app manager, uh, then app list, and Android Auto. Here you wanna select disable, disable app, and then select force stop, okay. Next we're gonna go back, and now we're gonna select Android setup. And in Android setup, we're gonna select force stop, okay. Go back again, and now look for Google Play services. There we go, Google Play ser services. Here again, we're gonna select disable, disable up, force stop, and okay. Next, we're gonna back out to the main settings page, right here, and we want to navigate to accessibility which is under special features or functions. Accessibility. And find accessibility mini. Enable it. Allow. Got it. And from here, we're just gonna start spamming the black button. So here we're gonna select next on from the Wi-Fi page and we're just gonna continue on. You will get to pass this page. So uh, once you select don't copy, you'll get to here, which is gonna be checking for updates and it's just gonna be stuck on here. So next what we want to do is click on this accessibility menu and we're gonna select assistant. And this sometimes will show up settings option right here. You just quickly catch up with the guide. Actually, let me back out. Looks like we need to forget our network first. Okay. Once we do that, Okay, so apparently I did miss a step. So we're supposed to disconnect from Wi-Fi before. Um, let's see if this will work in this case. So like this. Right. Sorry for this, I'm you know, trying to figure it out. Uh, like I said before, the guide isn't necessarily written in the best kind of way. Okay, so we are disconnected from network. We're going to connect to it. And next, don't copy. And yes, so we're basically There we go. Enable. Once you enable it, uh, right here, you want to go back once. There we go. So from here, select whatever browser you want to use. And as you can see, we did kind of bypass the verification portion once we enabled Google Play services. Um, there we go, skip, skip, next. And there we go. No, uh, in a second we will have access to our home screen. 
from which you want to do one last thing, which is perform a factory reset of the device through settings. So we're going to open up our settings right here. I'm going to scroll all the way down to system, select reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and then click on the erase all data right here once more to begin the factory reset. Now this will take about a minute or so to finish up. And once it's completed, uh, you'll be presented again with the setup screen. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked. Now you do want to do this as a last step because the device is still technically locked. So anyway, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.